Live from the breaking news and weather authority, this is WEAU 13 News at 6. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Rain and even a few thunderstorms remain possible early tonight before wintry weather makes a return overnight. Let's head over to meteorologist Derek Dahlman who's standing by with the latest. A Walworth County Sheriff's deputy is facing 19 felony charges related to the sexual assault of half a dozen victims. In the fight over who represents you, the state Supreme Court sided with Democratic Governor Tony Evers picking his voting map. But lawmakers from both parties are pushing back. As Jason Calvi shows us, it also means your candidate choices could change. Yesterday, legislative Republicans asked the Wisconsin Supreme Court to temporarily block the new maps from going into effect. They plan to appeal the state high court's decision to the U.S. Supreme Court. Teachers in Minneapolis and St. Paul Public Schools could strike as soon as Tuesday. They're calling for higher wages, smaller class sizes, and more mental health services. The twin walkouts could shut more than 60,000 students out of classes. Teachers in both districts say they're exhausted by the demands of teaching during the COVID-19 pandemic. They feel the state should tap some of its more than $9 billion budget surplus to help. Negotiations will continue through the weekend. National labor leaders say teachers and support staff across the country are experiencing the same sorts of fr frustrations but that the Twin Cities districts are the only large ones on the verge of possible strikes. Some Chippewa Falls elementary students got to spend the day learning about different languages and cultures at French and Spanish camp. 65 students in first through fourth grade attended the event. High school students volunteered their time to help run the different classrooms and activities. Teachers involved in today's camp say it's a great opportunity for everyone. Nuttleman and Opplinger say they hope to turn the language camp into a yearly tradition. Coming up in Sports Scene 13, area girls basketball teams hope to punch their tickets to the state championships. First, why hundreds of people were freezing for a reason at Half Moon Beach in Eau Claire. Hundreds of people hit the water today at Half Moon Beach in Eau Claire. WEAU's Leanne Stapleton shares why community members plunged into the cold water all to help a special group of Olympians. Hansen says today's polar plunge almost reached its goal of $65,000. She says in her years working for the Special Olympics and the polar plunge, it's been amazing to see the different communities rally together. And soggy conditions across western Wisconsin will quickly change into a wintry mess late tonight as a cold front brings falling temperatures. Meteorologist Derek Dahlman has the details next in your Skywarn 13 forecast. Half of the work week. Well, Sunday's looking pretty messy, so thanks, Derek. Mm -hmm. Coming up in Sports Scene 13, an area hockey team chases after its first ever state title. And in girls basketball, sectional champions are decided. Thanks, Derek, and thanks for joining us. Our next newscast is coming up tonight at 10.